Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically how we can calculate and compare simple and compound interest, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So you might have heard of these two terms. We've got simple interest, right? that is money that is paid um, when you are investing it by the bank or by the, the company that you're investing with simply because they are using your money while you're investing it and as a reward they're going to give you some interest they guarantee your money and they give you a little bit of interest on top of it so if you were to invest five thousand dollars at an annual interest rate of seven percent for five years what would that look like if they calculated it two different ways so simple interest it's got a formula on our reference chart i equals p r t so our interest rate equals our principal times our rate times our term. So that's pretty simple. So we've got 5,000. Let's go ahead and calculate this out here. 5,000 times 7%. We need to make that a decimal in just a moment times five years, right? So we can, let's just go ahead and multiply those two. 5,000 times five. So that is going to equal... 25,000 times 7%. Now we need to make that a decimal, so decimal goes to the end, move it over once, twice, 0 0.07. So let's just do a little bit of multiplication here. 0.07, that's 0, 0, 0, 0.00035, and that is 14, 17. Remember, I've got two digits bound the decimal in the factors, two digits bound the decimal in the product. I've got $1,750, $1,750 as interest. So if I add my principal of $5,000, that's what I started with. I leave it in there. After three years, I'm going to get interest of $1,750. That's going to get me $6,750 after three years. It's a pretty good deal. Let something sit in there for three years, and you get an extra $1,700. Now, what does it look like if we calculate that on compound interest? This is sometimes called interest on interest because in the simple interest, they're simply giving you interest on your principal, how much money you originally put in there. As your compound interest calculates, they give you interest not only on the principal, but also on the interest. So this is the final amount here. It's calculated, and this is what we see on our reference chart. A, we've got a P parentheses 1 plus r, and we do have to get a little bit of exponents there, the time. So what does that mean? Well, our final amount is going to be our principal, so that's once again $5,000. We're going to multiply it by 1 plus, now our rate still 7%, so let's just go ahead and put that at 0 0.07, we know what that is, and we're going to have to raise that to the power of 5. So we need to take care of that first. So 5,000 times 1.07 to the power of 5. Our order of operation says we need to go ahead and raise 1.07 to the power of 5. Now, here's the tricky part. That's going to be difficult without a calculator. That is not 1.07 times 5. What that is is that is 1.07 times 1.07 times 1.07 times 1.07 times one more 1.07. It's multiplied by itself five times. Well, I went ahead and calculated that out and rounded to the nearest hundredth. That is 1.40. So let's multiply our 5,000 times 1.4. And let's see what we get here. And this is going to go ahead and give us our final amount with the original interest. So that's 0, 0, 0. And that's 20. And we can just do 5,000. And take a look at what we've got. We've got 7,000. Let's put that decimal in there. And so if we calculate this, we see that our amount is going to be about, roughly, because we est we rounded it, about $7,000. And you notice that that's a little bit bigger compound than it is simple. 